A former chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Atahiru Mohamed Jega, has urged Nigerians not to vote for the ruling All Progressive Congress, the APC, and the People's Democratic Party, PDP, henceforth. He cited their alleged failure to bring the desired growth and development in Nigeria within the past 20 years, adding that it was high time Nigerians look for a credible alternative. The University Don also stated that he has joined the People's Redemption Party, PRP, to look for ways to help Nigeria. Well, joining us to discuss this is Openabo Inko Tara, a former special advisor on media and publicity to uh, the governor of River State, Nyesom Wike, and uh, Tanko Yunusa, who is the national chairman of the National Consent Conscience Party, NCP. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Great. I'm going to start with you, Mr. Yunusa, because um, you obviously are, are not a member of the PDP nor the APC. And, and Professor Tahiru Jega used to be the man that was in charge of our elections. And today he's talking about um, steering the ship in a different direction. Is this a case of just like the APC has responded saying that he's trying to float a political party or trying to push his political ambitions. Um, is this a man who's trying to push his own personal political ambitions, or is he stating fact? No, I don't think it's about personal um, uh, promotion of his own status as a person. Uh, Professor Jega, as a person anywhere, any day, is a product to be used for any political purposes in this country. That one is not in doubt. So if he wants to, anywhere he can go to, he can become, he will be a very, very old tool for the development of the country. But the truth about it is that uh, the way in which Nigeria is being run by the existing political party had made everybody to start wondering if truly the democratic system that we want is being practiced accordingly. Remember for a very long time, a lot of us have been complaining about how Whoever finds himself or herself in position of power use the apparatus of the state resources to emasculate all others. Truly, truly speaking, it's not about the PDP or APC. But what we've seen so far is that any political party, except of course if it's act, is actually um, ideologically entrenched on the ground, it's much easier for those on board. Any of the other political parties try to emasculate every other person. I mean, take a look at it. The recent most annoying situation that we find ourselves is when we are talking about transmission of electoral, uh, election voting system. To transmit this electoral uh, voting system, very simple. The people in the house belonging to both political parties are playing down on it. Majority of them are only interested in their own political parties, how they take advantage of it against others. That makes it enunciating to everybody. And so the leadership so far has left a lot of things unanswered for. And so it's not Jega only it's not Jega that is only calling for this particular situation. A lot of Nigerians are disenchanted, they are dismayed, they are totally dis 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 they are totally disillusioned, and the system has not provided enough room for all other political parties to triumph and then make their goals and achievement. Because if we have opportunity for all other political parties to have one election in this country, who will have had a robust electoral system? But rather, one person will move from one political party this morning, the next evening is another political party, and you will be allowed to run another political party platform. That is reasonable offense against the people that he runs the election against. Okay. So really, for us, we think it is time for, for the electorate to start looking elsewhere so that we can have a more acceptable democratic system in our country. Okay. Um, let me come to you, um, Opunabo. It, it's interesting to have this conversation because um, the PDP and the APC seem to be the biggest parties in Nigeria and the who's who are, all belong to these both sides of the divide. But then, this, just like uh, Unisa has said, the, the smaller parties have the short end of the stick and sometimes don't even smell the cake, not to talk of eating it. Um, and, and, and one would say, if Professor Jega is going to a smaller political party, um, does it mean that the people who also are in those political parties are on the straight and narrow, really? Why, would they, why should they be an option 
for Nigerians. If there's a particular saying that polit politics in Nigeria is a dirty game, whether you belong to the big party or the small party, is it about political parties or is it about us changing as human beings, as Nigerians, for the best? Well, the truth is, it has to do with the individual. Because uh, the party is populated by individuals. And unfortunately, a lot of us, when I say a lot of us because we're all politicians, a lot of us have this mark understanding. We don't really appreciate what politics is all about. That politics is all about to serve. But we go there for gastric reasons. We go there for selfish reasons, autocentric reasons. And that is why we are where we are today. Like uh, Doc rightly said, how can any sensible man talk of uh, the advanced electronic transmission of results? And more so, because they are hungry, they are in a hurry to perpetuate themselves in office, they forgot to uh, realize that they must talk upon amendments that should be 78 before you even talk. Because whatever amendments you do, whatever electoral act you come up with, will not fly unless that is amended. It's because every other law is puny, is inferior to the provisions of the Constitution, to the extent of the inconsistency. So these are the kind of characters we have in office. And so it has nothing really to do with the political parties. It has to do with the individual. Having said that, most political parties in the country don't have ideology. Most political parties are not formed out of quotas or are formed as springboards. Mm. This, let me inform this. I don't have the chance in this political party. Therefore, I can go ahead and form another political party where there is likelihood of bringing my dreams to fruition. And this, take, uh, and this, and this makes me always pop the question of, I mean, really... Uh, no, what, are the idea what are the ideologies of our political parties? Because the truth is, none of our political parties have ideologies. I told you, I said most of them don't have ideologies. They have a lot of ideologies. They form these parties, I will just give you the reason. They form these parties because they don't have chances in the bigger parties, or they form these parties because they see it as a springboard or as a negotiation. Uh, uh, body. That is why most people form the political parties. Very few form political parties with the interest of the people at heart. Very few. And in most cases, unfortunately, the story don't still get on my gen. That's the kind of country we live in. They just they power out in that, but they the gen will do come So most of these political parties, these bigger political parties, already have the money because they have been in office and they have stolen more than enough. So they have the money and they make it almost impossible for these other political parties to take over. That is why you have a lot of parties conflating to form the APC. Because it was difficult for any party to oust the PDP. The PDP have been in office, they had amassed so much wealth, they have their tentacles, they have the class. So the, the parties have to come, they have to now to form the APC. But the question is, is the APC different from the PDP? It's an old wine in the new wine scene. There is no difference. Most APC members were PDP members. Some of the PDP members were APC members. Some CPC members. So there is actually no difference because you cannot bequeath what you do not have. And most of them, if you look at how you define, uh, defend the government. Who moves from a particular political party to another particular to another political party? How do you defend the government? So whatever dividends of democracy that is expected to trickle down, down he is responsible. It is his duty to ensure that he tickles that. Now he is living because he has served the second term and he wants to go for presidential ambition or he doesn't, he wants, he has a senatorial ambition and he believes that the party in office is only in the party. If the party is going to be the easiest mm. to invite us for him to get to achieve mm. his aim. So okay. most of these are politicians are the rest of ideologies. They are only in office just for selfish reasons. Okay. Because we're almost out of time. Uh, Mr. Yunisa, one last question. You just help me answer it quickly in a sentence. Um, we saw, I, I don't know if you heard the reports, that there's been serious voter apathy. And we saw that in 2019. Um, we saw a level of voter apathy. But what we have seen in the Lagos and Ogun local government elections is the worst that we have ever seen. It's the lowest of lows. And we're complaining about 2023 and what would happen. What's the guarantee that Nigerians are even interested in the politics uh, of Nigeria anymore? I mean, we seem to have lost trust in 
the electoral process and, and the people that, you know, the system throws up. So uh, if, even if Jaga is asking us to look elsewhere, where do we muster that trust from again, uh, you know, as we head to 2023 quickly? Exactly. We need to get the fundamentals right. Remember in 2019, we have registered voters according to uh, our committer. We have 88 million people registered. Only 30 million um, uh, registered voters voted. So what you saw in uh, Lagos and that of uh, Ogun is a replica of the fact that people lost trust in the process. The only way we can get the trust of the people back it's making sure that the laws shows that they can get their votes credibly well. I.e., okay. making sure that whenever they vote, that they are sure that voter ca their vote counts. Whenever right. they vote, they are sure that when it counts the vote, it is equal to the people the vote that they see. Just like what we are talking about, the electronic transmission of voting. We okay. also want they also want to be sure we that the person that they voted for is the right candidate that demands. Okay. That's when we start building trust in the All system. Right. We have to go, gentlemen. I want to thank you very much, Opunabo, Inko, Taria, and Tanko Yunisa. Thank you for being part of the conversation. We are out of time. Okay. God bless you and God bless all Nigeria. Right. All right. Thank well, you. thank you all for being part of the conversation. We'll quickly take a look at what Nigerians have to say about their voting selections come 2023. And I want to thank you all for being part of the show. I'll see you tomorrow. I prefer P PDP in 2023 election. No, sir. I don't really partake in any party like PDP or APC because the way I see in this country, in fact, everything has turned upside down. It's not even all about the the vote, the party I'm voting for or whatever. It's just, I believe it's just human citizens. The way they are doing things is not really proper. But I'm, I'm tired of Nigeria. I've never done it. Even if, if any of my relations uh, contest, I will not vote. I've never voted and I will not vote as far as the way politics are being run in this country presently. So I'm not, I'm not going to vote for anybody. See, the thing is, there's no need to waste your time in whether you want to vote for um, PDP or APC. See, it's just, this party is just like one simple thing, like um, PDP first as an apple. And the individuals that ate that apple went back to APC because APC said we have a new apple. So they went to finish APC Apple now. Now PDP has bought another new Apple. So the APC guys now are going back to PDP to start the new Apple that they have. See, the thing is, if the Electra, um, um, what, what are they calling it? The Electra bill, if it's not being passed, for them to send electron, um, results electronically, forget it. Voting is as useless as anything. Any, any youth that will be going out to vote is wasting his time. I'll prefer a neutral party. If there is, I don't want uh, either APC or PDP.